So the ocean is built off of the first six notes predominantly of the A minor pentatonic scale. Okay, so you're gonna to want to get really comfortable with those six notes. Just make that really comfortable. Um, and then let's get into the riff, which we've broken down into five parts. The first part, I'll just play it once in a simple form without all the decoration on it, okay? <clears throat> so there's some hammer-ons and pull-offs and things like that, but we're just gonna go very simple just to get to the nuts and bolts of the riff. times I just play it twice so <clears throat> it's five parts let's break down those five parts the first part starts on the last note of the group of six there's the sixth note ring finger on the third string down which technically is the fourth string because the strings are truly numbered from one two three four five six from thin to thick right so we're gonna start right here for the first part, this is the first note. Two ring finger notes. And then at this point, we're gonna play on the same string, pointer, then the next thicker string, ring, and then the next thicker string, pinky. And this is an opportunity to do um, um, a picking trick, which is um, a sweep pick. Right, where we're just gonna go one direction across the strings, and it's gonna be an up strum. You could work on just that. So the first part again is... Right? I'll play that one more time. The second part. Eight muted strums. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can do that all on one string. Let's try that on string five. Or the second string down, which is the A string. So the first two parts together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The third and fourth parts of this riff are very similar. Um, you're gonna start on the second string down or string five, the A string, and it's gonna be pointer, ring, and then go to the next thinner string for another pointer finger. I'll play the, this, the third part again time. The fourth part, which follows that immediately, is very similar, only the last note is different. Pointer, ring, ring on the next string down. So the third and fourth parts back to back sound like this. Then there's only one part left, but let's play parts one through four one more time just to hear all those together. Jimmy Page does something really cool and he breaks this um, pentatonic scale and moves down a half step out of this blocking of notes. Um, there are four notes in this fifth part. One, two, three, four notes. Only the second note is on a different string, the fourth string, which is a pinky note on the seventh fret. Um, notes numbers one, three, and four occur right there on the same string, the A string. So all together, the fifth part of this riff sounds like that. So it's pointer, then you go to that other note, and then you could come back into the position at that point with the pointer finger on the fifth fret. And then you'll be ready to start it over again. So the fourth part again. Feels like that. It's got a bit of a swing to it. 
So all the parts in order again. times I just play it twice um, there are extra goodies um, he does hammer-ons right and then hammer-ons on the second part um, and a hammer on the third part and he might add like a little bit of a vibrato on that last note so you could do that if you bring your fingers together in a cluster, it might make it easier to do a vibrato. Kind of like that. Anyway, I think that's a pretty good initial tutorial.